Welcome back. If it's taking way too long to close the sale, it could be because you're missing this one thing. I'm going to be sharing with you what that is, what you need to do to close the sale faster and do it in a very authentic and heart-centered way. So welcome. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm April Yvette. Welcome back to the April Yvette podcast and community. I'm so grateful that you're here. So let's dive right in. I believe in purpose-driven selling. Purpose-driven is where you put your customers' needs and what they want and need before your own. You can also absolutely reach your sales goals and reach your revenue goals in your company by doing this. And I believe you can actually do it even faster by putting your customers ahead of your own wants and needs even faster because you build trust and it's real and it's authentic and people feel that from you. So let's dive right on into what I got to share with you today. So if it's taking longer to close the sale, this could be why. Have you ever felt stuck in a sales process that seems to drag on forever? You're sending a lot of follow-up emails after you've sent a proposal uh, and you're hearing crickets or they're just not getting back with you and it it's just dragging on and you're really wanting just a yes or a no, you know, whether they're going to move forward or not. Well, I know how this feels. It's happened to me as well. Uh, matter of fact, I'm in the trenches doing sales on a daily basis, B, B2B. Um, it can be so frustrating, especially when you know that you can truly help your potential clients solve their problem. Here's the truth. If it's taking too long to close the sale, it's likely because you haven't created a strong enough sense of urgency for them to move forward now versus waiting. If urgency isn't a part of your conversation, indecision will take its place. That means they'll end up sitting on the fence and procrastinating even on making a decision. Now, I do understand that in some cases, there's other factors that come into play. Like, I get that. So it may just, they need to find out what their budgets are for next year before they can even make a decision. So sometimes that's true. Here's what works. During the discovery call that you have with a potential client, ask questions that gently open their heart to weigh in on their current challenge that they're facing. And I'm going to give you some examples. Ask questions during the discovery call like, so so tell me, what is the number one challenge that you've been trying to solve in your business uh, or in your work when it comes to X? And when I say X, it's whatever is aligned with what your offer is, okay? So what are problems that you're trying to solve as it relates to attracting more customers or getting more applications filled out for jobs, whatever it is based on your industry? I think it's important to show genuine concern um, and it definitely helps to move your potential client from logical thinking and connecting to their emotions. The second question to ask is, Why is solving this problem important for you to right now? Why is solving this problem so important for you to do right now rather than just waiting? What that does is it helps them to realize why taking action now matters today. It can also say, well, you know what? We really don't need to do this right now. It would be better for us if we did it maybe next spring. Okay, great. Let's maybe look into this in the spring. For me, I believe in doing whatever is best for the client's needs, not necessarily for my own timeline. And sure, sometimes it it may be important for them to go ahead and solve this right now instead of waiting. And they just needed you to be their trusted advisor and guide to help them to make the right decision for them to move forward now in some cases. The third question What's the worst thing that could possibly happen if you do nothing, um, nothing changes in the next 30 days or 60 days? And then listen to what they share with you. This shines a light on what's at stake and it creates clarity in their own mind around the urgency of solving the problem that you're here to help them solve. When you create urgency, it's not about manipulation at all. It's about serving with integrity and helping someone see how their life could transform when they take action. 
I know for me, the times where I knew that I needed to make a, a decision to move forward with something, I knew about it, I prayed about it, I knew I should do it, but for some reason I was procrastinating or holding back on buying it or making the decision to buy it or not. And it really made it worse when I just waited around um, and it caused me stress because I hadn't made a decision yet. Maybe you felt that way before too. So when you approach sales with this kind of care and faith, you become a trusted guide on your customer's journey. You're helping them to make the decision that's right for them and the timing that's right for them. Remember, God has placed you in this role for a purpose. He's using you to bring solutions, peace, and breakthrough to people that you serve. So I just want to encourage you to lead with compassion and the right clients will move forward when it's the right timing for them. I hope this was inspiring for you today. Uh, I encourage you to su subscribe to my newsletter. There's a link in the description of this video below. Uh, and also, if this was helpful for you, I encourage you to share it with a friend or two because I share weekly encouragement, authentic conversations, um, stories of overcoming adversity to triumph, practical marketing tips um, that are faith-led that will empower you to grow in life, business, and faith. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.